Hey, uh, hey y'all, Melissa here, TCT Crafts. Come on in. Just decided to do an impromptu live. I am going to be working on a Woodlands centerpiece. And so I thought I would just come live and make it with y'all. So if you come in, say hello, leave me a comment so that I know that it's working and I can see comments and all the things. Um, that'll help me out. So if you come in, say hi. I'm gonna give it just a second and then we're gonna get going. So I was working on a Woodlands design on a grapevine um, for my members group which if you guys are not aware, over on our YouTube channel at TCT Crafts, we have a VIP, mem VIP membership group, which gives you a couple exclusive tutorials every month. Super cheap, it's like $4.99, you cancel any time. So if there's any tutorials over there that you guys would like to see, we would love to have you over there. But anyway, let me show you what we were, what I was doing over there. So I was, designing this beautiful woodlands grapevine wreath with our little tucked in owl in there. Can you see him in there? And he's so cute. Um, so I was working on this, I just finished, and I thought I would make a centerpiece to go with it. So I decided just to jump on and make the centerpiece with you guys. So make it something that's gonna go with this, okay? So again, if you guys jump on, say hey in the comments, let me know you're watching so that I know um, that I can see comments because right now I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so we are just gonna start with just this little wooden dough bowl. I think it's about eight, eight to nine inches. Um, we have the, some of these in the shop. And then it, I just added some styrofoam to the bottom and then just put some moss on it. And our star is gonna be our adorable little natural owl and so i'm just gonna go and we are to he's foam so we're just gonna perform a little surgery on him and push this i may have to use my scissors see if i can get it there we go push that up in there let me put some glue on it so it doesn't come out if you guys don't jump on later and catch the replay um, just type hashtag replay. Let me know you guys are watching. If you have any questions along the way and I don't answer them, um, I'll try to go back and catch any comments that I missed. I know this is kind of an odd time to go live, but I was just getting ready to do this and decided, well, let's just jump on and do it live. So I'm just going to push this down in that phone. Actually, y'all, I just kind of messed up. Let me fix this. I got too excited talking. His feet are gonna sit like that. So I need my stick to go more towards his hiney. See if I can get it back in there. Probably creating all kinds of funny faces for y'all right now. Let me get my scissors. He went right in on his tummy, but down here by his hiney, he's not having it. There it goes. Okay, let's try this again. Take two. How many of you guys are already working on your Christmas and holiday designs? I've just kind of started. Of course, I still did a Halloween one, too. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna add glue, and then I'm gonna take some floral pen and just kind of uh, pin his feet down, just to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm just gonna push that down there. Sorry about that, y'all. Let's do this side. 
got his little feet down there. All right, so he's not going anywhere. Now let's go in with some of our pine on the side here. I think I'm gonna put a pick on it. Again, if you guys come in, say hello. Let me know you're watching. Let me make sure I can see comments. Okay, so I'm just gonna go kind of straight in on this foam on the side here. Sort of give that a bend. That's gonna kind of hang off the side. Let's do one on the other side. That may actually be a hair long. So I'm just going to trim it. I'm just going to give it a haircut. There we go. Okay, let's go in with a shorter piece this time on that side. How's everybody's week going so far? I'm gonna go right in between his feet. There we go. And just create on that side too. All right, now let's get a piece and go right back here. I need to get another glue stick, I do. everybody started getting the fall temps yet? I know here in Oklahoma, we just moved here from Texas and we are starting to enjoy those nice fall temperatures. It has been wonderful. Okay, so I got a little sprig right here. And now let's get one in the front. So he's gonna go diagonal from this piece, like right there, okay? So I'm just putting these on my pick machine. If you don't have a pick machine, you could just use a wooden pick. Um, you could just stick it in there. It just is a little harder to get in there without a pick. Thank you guys that are coming in and watching. Keep me company while I do design this. Okay. So that's what we have so far. I think I wanna add my ribbon next. So where did it go? Here it goes. I'm gonna use this birch ferrisilk ribbon. This natural birch ferrisilk, isn't it? Lovely. So get a little tail here. And I'm probably just gonna do, I don't want a big bow, so probably just like three loops. And we'll do small little loops. I have a tendency to, when I make the little small arrangements, to do three, three loops. I don't know why. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. Let's cut it off. I'm gonna get my pipe cleaner and just tie it off. Thank you, Janet, for sprinkling. I appreciate it. Okay, so I have our little our little free loop bow. I'm gonna get a let's see. Yeah, let's put it on a pick. pick we could just stick it in there with a um, floral pin too but I'm just gonna add it on a pick so it's not all the way kind of squished into our arrangement add a little bit of glue on there and some glue on our little stick Right there. Now I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna let it dry for a second. 
before we start messing with it. I say that and I'm sitting here messing with it. Okay, let's get this added. So I want a little drapey piece of the front. Obviously, I don't need one this long. So I'm gonna cut it down. But I want it to kind of drape right, like right in here. So I'm gonna cut it about right here. And I'm gonna go right next to my right next to my little uh, wooden pick and then just hit it with some glue right there. Okay, so we just have a little drapey piece right there. And let's maybe do one in the back. Okay, I'm gonna put a pick on it. Come in, let me know where you're watching from. Or if you come in later during the replay, let me know where you're watching from. We are now in Oklahoma. We just moved here about two months ago from Texas. Actually, it's probably been, well, about two and a half months ago. We are building a family ranch up here. So we bought some land. We are in the process of building our home. My parents are building their home. And as soon as my brother retires from the military uh, next year, he will be building here as well. So we're gonna have a little family ranch. My daughter is coming at the beginning of the year. And I have a couple nieces and nephews that are gonna be joining us too. So we're gonna have a little family mini subdivision going on. Super excited. Okay. So now I'm gonna start, I got our little danglies. I'm gonna start kind of anchoring our bow a little bit. So I'm gonna go in, I think, with a couple pieces of our frosted greenery. All of this, um, all of these supplies we have in the shop. So if you guys wanna know about anything, just Hit me up and I'll give you the skew. I'm gonna add one right, right in front there. Now I'm gonna go up underneath the bow. We got a lot of Christmas supplies in last week, so everything's been listed. And we got more on the way. Now I'm gonna go right up underneath this loop. There we go. Let's go on this side. Okay, I'm gonna go up under this tail. Give it a bend. I'm gonna let my little tail sit right there. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's go on the back side with this frosted pine. That one didn't go very well. If you guys just come in, say hello. Thanks for jumping on. I know it's kind of a weird in the middle of the day on a Tuesday. It is Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tuesday. Okay, so I have that piece back there. It's gonna kind of let our little gravy piece kind of sit on it. Let's add one on this side. Y'all, this pick machine, I think I end up wasting as many picks as I actually end up using. Y'all, do y'all have pick machines? Do they give you, do they give you fits? Mine is definitely above the heat. Okay, I'm going right behind his little, right behind his little hiney there. 
with that piece. And then let's go on the side. Okay, before I add too much more greenery, I wanna get some of our magnolia stems added. This is turning out pretty already. Okay, so I brought in, aren't these beautiful? These are some of our new magnolia stems. And we've got two of them. One is a brighter white. This one is more of a cream. So I thought it would tie in really good with this sort of cream um, ribbon. So we're gonna add a couple of these. Let me cut them down. And I'll probably use these leaves too. Let me just pull these off and we can put a pick on. Okay, so I want one back here in the back. I'm gonna cut it down and I'm gonna put a pick on it. It's a little too long. go in now. There we go. Okay, I'm going to hit that with some glue because I don't want to pull it back out. We've got that one added there. Isn't that beautiful? Let's do one on this front side. So, right sort of in the center of the loop or of our tail I mean so kind of to the side of this arrangement okay, let me add a pick thank you Janet I think it is coming along beautifully. Oh, my tick just came right off. Look at that, y'all. Just came right off. I'm telling you. Try it again. Okay. These have thick stems on them, so it makes it a little difficult to get in there. And my pick just broke right off in there. So that didn't work. Oh no, it's still on there, it just bent. All right, y'all, I have to get handy with it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna hit that really well because I don't want it coming out. Okay, and then I think we'll do one more on the side over here. Am I not afraid of the cold? No, well, I say no, but I really don't. I probably am because I don't like cold. But my nephew lives up here and he said it doesn't really get that bad. He said where we're at, only a couple times a year do they really get any significant snow or ice. So I can handle that. But it is gonna be probably about five to 10 degrees colder than where it was in Texas. So that part I'm not a fan of. But on those days, We'll just stay inside. We won't go to town. I don't like the cold. That was one of the reasons I used to live when I was younger in South Dakota and talk about cold. It was cold. And 
it's beautiful, but I would never want to live there again. Okay, so we've got our three magnolias on. Janet, where are you from? So I'm going to add a couple of these magnolia leaves. We're just going to pick them, and we're going to get them added back in there. So it looks like they're still kind of attached. I think that was some glue. Houston. Okay. Fellow Texan. That is warm down there. Very humid. Okay, let me get this other one. All right, yeah, I've lived in Texas since um, 1989 till just recently. So we were outside of the Dallas area, sort of east east of Dallas near the Rockwall area, Rockwall Roy City, that's where I moved from. And I lived there, like I said, since 89. But uh, my nephew, who is going to be moving to the property with us, my brother's son, he works for um, an Oklahoma electric company. And he has to be within an hour of Gore, Oklahoma. So, you know, he's young and just building his career. We're older, getting towards the end of our careers. So we decided, because he wanted to move on the ranch, we would just move to Oklahoma. Because like I said, he has to be within an hour of Gore. So, hence, we're making the move. Or we've made the move. My parents are actually moving this week on Thursday. Okay, so I just took those three leaves and just tucked them around this flower so it looks like they're still together. And let's do that on these other ones. And then I have a niece moving here from Kansas which isn't too far from us. We actually live on the border of Oklahoma and Arkansas. So we are on the far eastern side of Oklahoma. You guys are popping on, say hello. Thank you guys so much for coming in tuning in on my impromptu live. I'm going to start doing these, try to do these some in the evening too. I know everybody can't watch during the day. I'm going to add another one. I must have, oh, okay. I see what I did. So there was two per flower. I put three on this one, but we're going to make it work. So one of these is only going to get one leaf. So let me decide where I want it. I definitely want that one in there. Try not to burn my fingers. flower here is giving me fits. There we go. Okay, I think I'm going to use this other one up front. Since it's more front facing, we'll, we'll put it up front. Now let me know if you have questions as we're going along. I'm trying to watch comments. Hopefully they're coming through. Sometimes Facebook doesn't like to uh, play nice. Okay. 
stitch though. That's what we have so far. Okay. Let's add some of our snowy mint bush. So I have these little snowy mint bush. They kind of are little pushers. Let's add a few of these in here. I'm gonna add one right down the center and that'll help cover up our um, pipe cleaner. How many of you guys have started decorating for fall already? It is that time, it is sweater weather. As you can see, and I'm making a mess of making a mess. I don't get to decorate this year because our house is being built and my stuff is in storage. So. Alright, let's get that one added down here. We're living in a little, um, it's a little tiny house. Well, it's actually bigger than a tiny house, a little bit, it's like right under 700 square feet. And uh, my husband's like, y'all are, you are not getting that stuff out of storage to decorate this tiny house. So needless to say, I don't get to decorate. I don't even get to decorate for Christmas this year. And decorate the shop, I guess. Okay, let's get one. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple around the back side. All this stuff is everywhere. I love the flock pine stuff at Christmas time, but man, it's messy. I don't like that one there, so let me move it. today. Okay, I'm going to cut this one into a smaller piece for underneath. I'll flip it around and show you guys. I'm just covering up this foam with these. They're like little, working as like good little fillers back there. Covering up that foam. I had brought in this bush to use as well. How far is it to my nearest Hobby Lobby? So Hobby, our Hobby Lobby is in Fort Smith, which is only about 25 minutes from here. So not too bad. They have a, um, uh, Fort Smith is a decent sized city and they actually have a um, Hobby Lobby and a Michaels. I have not been to the Michael's yet. I have gone to the Hobby Lobby. Of course, I don't go to Hobby Lobby that often. Um, we carry most, you know, most of what I use in the shop. So when I go to market every year, 
you know, I try to pick out things that I would personally want to use. Um, and so I use most of what's in the shop. Of course, on occasion, I need to go to Hobby Lobby and get, get something I don't have. Okay, so I'm going to tuck a couple of those pieces in there because I think it's a nice little filler. I did go to the Hobby Lobby the other day and because um, I had to get some stuff for a custom order. And man, the Christmas is all out and already 50% off. Isn't that crazy? So, I did stock up on a few things. Like, I think it gets earlier and earlier every year. Okay, so I'm just tucking in a few of these pieces just to kind of give it some filler. Thank you, Carolyn. I may have to put this one on a pick. Yeah, let me put this one on a pick. Okay. Let's see about maybe adding. Hmm decide if I want to add one right here in the front or we'll leave it. I could probably add one right here behind our bow too. I'm going to flip it around in a minute and I'll get y'all's opinion. crunch on that one. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Isn't that beautiful? So my question is, if I tuck a piece, it's hard for me to see working this angle a little bit until I take a picture. But like, should I tuck a piece right in here or should we just leave it? That is the question. I actually need a piece of pine right here behind this guy too. my picture if I see any little spots that look off because you never can really tell until you go to take your picture and then you really see kind of where your holes are or at least for me um, so I can always go in I have a few little a few little scraps I can go in and um, Fill it in if we need to. Thank you, Janet. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I think I'm going to add one more piece right here. Thanks for keeping me company while I do this. I think this guy is going to go right down here. There we go. I think it looks pretty good. What do y'all think? 
I think it'll match our, our if you missed the beginning, I made this um, grapevine in our VIP, our VIP member group. He's got a little owl in there. He's being tucked in there. So I want to make a little centerpiece to go with him. And I think it turned out pretty good. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And if you catch this later, um, hit me up in the comments. Do hashtag replay. Let me know where you're watching from. Thank you guys that were on live with me for hanging out. Thank you so much, Janet. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me. And um, I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, y'all.